Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm making a new Heroclix video talking about a new mechanic that showed up in World's Finest set, the newest DC set for uh, Heroclix. And it's the Shifting Focus of ability. And it's similar to, you know, in the past, Morph and Battlefield Promotion, but it's kind of different. So let's take a look at it. Shifting Focus. Give Batman a free action if he began your turn on the map. Replace him with another character with his trait on the same click number. So it's a free action. While like morph in the past has been like a move action or a close combat action, this is a free action, but you can only do it if this character began your turn on the map. So that means you can only do one swap out per turn. So it has its limitations, but it, you have some really cool combos too. And let's look over the overall figures. You have four different figures. Two of them have Batman team ability. Uh, only one has range. And uh, they all they all have different abilities. Basically, what they did was normally a Batman doll would be closer to 100 to 120 points. You know, sometimes you get like a really cheap Batman that's like 70 points. But then people complain that oh, it, this Batman doesn't have this, this Batman that doesn't have that. So what they did was they said we'll break Batman up into multiple characters each each have different parts to them each, each have different powers maybe one has outwit one can do ranged attacks one can hide in stealth really really well and one can just get in their face and punch really really well and they broke them up into four different figures now the one one great thing about it is is he's only 60 points you know that's really 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 cheap for batman oh uh, he really can fill out justice league theme teams really well his keywords they all have the same keywords batman family detective gotham city justice league so that means he can fill out the teams really really well sixty points let's jump into the first click and let's just see what they do so this is the first batman oh i messed that up oh well um he has a special let's see he starts out um with a special ability Hiding behind you, give Batman a free action if he occupies hindering terrain or no opposing character can draw a line, fi draw a line of fire to him to place him into a square of hindering terrain within six squares of line of fire. And he also has uh, improved movement hindering, so he can sit in hindering with no, no downsides whatsoever. And uh, he also has the Batman team ability, so he wants to be sitting in hindering terrain. So basically, hiding behind you, it's a lot like the Out of Shadows ability that came in the past, where if he's in hindering terrain, he can basically bounce to another square of hindering terrain within a certain limit. And it has added another option if no opposing character can draw a line of fire to him. So if he's like hiding behind a wall or something or something, he can do it too, which is really interesting. Um, and he can he can you can place him in a square of hindered terrain within six squares and line of fire. So you, so Batman does have to be able to see the square he's going into, but um you know uh it's really cool and it's a free action. That means you can do that first, then swap out. That's one of the very um, popular combos with it. You can you can um hide behind you into it. You can move up six squares for free with that ability, then swap out with somebody else who can move again with another ability. So let's get into his dial. So he starts out with that cool movement, some willpower and some exploit weakness. I like this dial a lot just because he can he can hide in stealth and then keep moving forward and then base your opponent. If your opponent gets anywhere near hindering terrain you know this guy can take advantage of that and exploit weakness them. At 11 attack value he's pretty good too. Then he loses an attack value, uh, stays about the same, loses one movement, loses another attack value which is kinda lame-o. Um, but he goes from willpower to combat reflexes so he's much harder to hit up close. Um, stays about the same and I think they have six clicks. Six clicks for 60 points is really really nice. Um, so he's all about hiding in the shadows until he can get right up on you, and then he's going to be harder to hit. Let's look at this one. This one um, doesn't have the Batman team ability, so he's not as much about hiding in stealth. Um, he doesn't have any kind of you know improved movement or anything, but he can charge that 12 attack for 60 points is pretty incredible. And he, this guy just wants to get up in your face and punch you. And the 3 damage is not that much, but you're going to be having to hit a, a 19 if, if he's right up on you. And then a 12 attack kind of guarantees he's going to be able to hit you. So that's really, really nice. Um, then he, then he, so he goes from charge to that he loses one attack and one defense, which is lame-o. But still, 11 attack is really nice. And now he gains, um, now he gains close combat expert and precision strike. So you don't get to use your super senses and you're not going to be able to mastermind it away. 
and now he can and he'll at least hit you for one now um and then he can also close combat expert you so he can get he can get back up to three damage really easily he can he can get back up to 12 attack three damage with close combat expert so that's nice and he's still kind of hard to hit with 18 close combat um Let's see, he, he keeps the 11 attack, he loses one movement, not so bad. Still has the 11 attack. This guy's attack values are out of, out of, just insane. But now he has flurry. Now he's really mad. Because he doesn't have the close combat expert anymore, so he can't go up to 3 damage anymore. He's just going to try to hit you a bunch of times for 2. And hope that he can pink you twice with a precision strike, you know? Uh, he keeps that up, but he loses one attack. He's, 10 attack is still not bad for being on his second to last click. Keeps the flurry going. And then on his last click, it keeps the flurry going. I mean, this guy is just going to get up in your face, punch you, and just keep punching you. And he's going to make sure he's hitting you and doing a little bit of damage, you know. This guy is really interesting. He has another specialized trait. Study your enemies well. When an opposing character within line of fire hits with an attack, place a study token on this card. So basically, um, and, and they did rule, they did rule that if you swap him out, you keep the study tokens, even if your other figures can't do anything with the study tokens. Um, let's see, sorry, so he has the Batman team ability, so he kind of wants to stay in stealthy too. He has the sidestep, so I, I think the sidestep makes up for the no move, uh, no uh, improved movement, because he is going to be kind of hindered when he gets an ender in terrain. He has the sidestep, he also has willpower. Uh, he also has smoke cloud, so he can put smoke cloud around him if he needs to. The one damage is really hard. I mean, it's really weak. It's like it's gonna be really hard to hit people uh, and deal actual extra damage. But that's why they gave him this special um, damage power. I've discovered what I need to know. Batman can use Outwit as if he had a range value of eight. When he does, if he removes a study token from this card, he can either counter an additional power on the targeted character, or this use Outwit lasts until your next turn, even if this power is lost. So what's really cool about that is, um, you if he has the study token and you remove it, you can Outwit something, then swap out to somebody else, and even though you technically lose the Outwit, the effect of it uh, stays on them. Um, until the next turn, so you could you could out with them, remove the study token, and then swap out to this dude and be like, okay, I'm gonna charge you and guarantee hit you for three, uh, because you outwitted their defense probably, you know. So that's nice. Uh, so he definitely is one you want to kind of swap into at the end of the turn, so you could try to build up some stu uh, study counters tokens, you know. Um. And he's in hindering. I mean, and he has the Batman team ability. So if if you let's say you're starting out with like uh I don't know. Let's say you're just like moving up, you know, every now and then with that free free movement. You could swap out to him at the end of each time, you know, and uh try to get a study token. The next turn, sidestep up, swap out to him, move up six more. And then, you know, in the next turn, move up six more, swap out to him, sidestep, and then try to get another study token. So it's an interesting combination you can do. You want to build up the study tokens because that means you can outwit two things or you can keep the outwit and then go all on the attack, swapping into somebody new and trying to hit them really hard, you know? Let's look at his dial. Okay, he starts out with a sidestep, smoke cloud, willpower, and the special outwit. Then he, uh, I think he loses, no, he, st he loses one movement. His attack values aren't the best, but, you know, I guess it's alright. Then he loses one attack and one defense, which is booty. Um, but now he's like, I'm going to lock you down with plasticity and super senses. So I think this is another, another cool part where you could swap into him. Because you could, you know, you could have him move active with his special uh, hidden behind you ability, hit him for exploit weakness, and then swap out to him and be like, now you're locked down because I have plasticity, meaning that you have minus two to your breakaway. And then next turn, you swap back out to him, and you go exploit weakness, you know? And that, and then, and then even what if you did, if you KO him with exploit weakness, then you can use his uh, hiding behind you to swap back over to the other hindering terrain or move, place yourself back in the hindering terrain that you came from. It's really interesting. I like the plasticity. I think it adds something to it. And then he, and then near the end of his dial, he just gains a regular outwit, um, a regular outwit, you know. So that's what he's all about. I think overall, I don't like this dial as much as the other ones. But it is interesting with the study tokens and stuff like that. 
this is the rare. This is the one that's supposedly a lot better than all the other ones. Um, for a few different reasons. Now he um he he has six range double target. He does not have the Batman team ability, but he he would be leaps and bounds better than all the other ones if he did have the uh Batman team ability. Um, but he starts out. Does he have any special abilities? He does have special uh improved movement. He can move over in, um elevated. So that helps him a lot. It's funny because I was thinking if you compare him to the Superman, compare oh Superman's on his other click. If you compare him to the Superman, they're almost identical. You know, if you look at it, look at it, okay. They both have running shot, some kind of ability, then ESD, and they both have range. And um, it's really interesting, even though Batman's 30 points less. And it, I'll compare them maybe later too. But he starts out, he has a special uh, attack power, uh, two types of batterings. Batman can use energy explosion and incapacitate. So that's nice. I really like the incapacitate. The energy explosion is, you know, interesting if they have the right lineup. But the targeting two people for incapacitate can be really nice. And he'll be kind of hard to hit because he has the 17 uh, ESD, so the 19 from range. So he keeps that. He keeps. Okay, this guy's a pain in the butt to turn. Okay, so he loses one movement and one defense, which is booty, but it's okay. And then he loses one attack. Okay, now he's he's definitely going down attack wise. But he still has a two, two attack. I would say this one's more, I would use this more for incapacitate. More than trying to deal damage, just lock them down, you know. Then it goes to sidestep. Sidestep, ESD, uh, um, sidestep, ESD with range combat expert. Oh, what does that remind me of? Sidestep toughness, range combat expert. Oh, look at the parallels there. Um means he can still keep keep the range but now he can actually start doing some more damage the sidestep is interesting to use before or after you swap in too then he keeps that up his attack values stay pretty good the entire dial and he and his defense values stay pretty good the entire dial he's gonna be hard to hit from range pretty much the entire day pretty much the entire game and not until the very end does he get one attack i mean one damage but again he still has range combat expert so he can still bump it up to three damage if he really wants to um, overall, I like the figures. I think overall, I like the Superman figures a little bit more than the Batman figures. But you cannot argue that the 60 points is just not so easy to fit on the teams. There's so many teams. And let's say you play like 100, you play two 120 point beat sticks, and then you're like, I have 60 points. Do I do a, do I do a, a, a resource or what? 60 points is fantastic for building for teams. And for 60 points, you get a whole lot, you know, for 60 points. You can swap out for any of this stuff. You can swap out and move up. You can swap out, outwit. You can have some range on your side. Or you can just run out and punch somebody. Um, you have some cool stuff for 60 points. I love the 60 points. I think that's the biggest selling point for me because they just make it so easy to put build teams around them. And what's really cool is, like, for 150 points, you know, you get Superman and you get Batman. Dude, I mean, you're talking about craziness for 150 points. You can just do so much for 150 points. And like I was saying with the Superman uh, video, uh, if they try to outwit something, they're like, oh, I outwit your charge. You're like, okay, that's good. I'm now going to swap out to running shot, you know, and now I'm going to shoot you there. Or I outwit your, I outwit your, you know, your what, your running shot. Okay, I'll swap into this dude and do hiding behind her and get get up on you anyways. Um, it's very hard to lock these guys down. They're gonna keep moving, keep doing stuff. You won't be able to outwit stuff on them really well. Um, I will say overall, I think the Batman is lacking some support uh, abilities. There's only one of them that has outwit, uh, even though it is an interesting outwit. Um, there's none of them have perplex, none of them have prob. I kind of wish there was some perplex in there. I see Batman as one that has perplex, but oh well. Two of them have the Batman team ability, which is nice. Two of them don't. Oh well, uh, I think I think it's balanced how they set it up. Uh, overall, I like the dolls. The sculpts are amazing. Look at this guy. This is a common. This is common. Amazing sculpt. Amazing sculpt. This is great. Awesome sculpts. So they look great. Overall, I like them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Superman video that has uh, talking about Superman shifting focus. And have a nice day, everybody. Thank you very much for watching.